everybody, it's Peanut, and we're going to talk about what you should wear when you're outside. Hi, Peanut! Well, I have an extra hat! Hey, Clipper, what, what are you doing? I mean, I'm dressed like this, and... Well, are we going to go for our overnight or something? What was on the... What were we planning to do? Well, we were going on a hike, but I don't know what you're wearing versus me. I mean, this is rain here. Do you think it's gonna rain? I brought you a hat. Well, thanks, Clipper, but I didn't know it was gonna rain. So, well, is it? Should we be prepared for weather? And do you know it's gonna rain, or? No, I just like the blue outfit. I thought it matched. Um, well, maybe we need to take a moment and think about what we should wear. Hi, girls. This is little Clipper. Peanut and I checked the weather, and guess what? There's 90% chance of rain this weekend, so I dressed right, yay! I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I have clothes, shoes on, or boots. This is a rain gear. These are rain pants. Water runs right off of them. This is a rain jacket, and I have a hood. If your jacket doesn't have a hood, you can easily just wear a hat and you'll stay dry. Now, some people may think of an umbrella. Umbrella is really good if you're in the city, but we're gonna be out in the woods. So if I put my umbrella up like this and I walk along a tree, oh, I'm sorry. Or I get hung in the bushes, oops, I'm sorry. And when I put it down, it may just roll away and then I'm going to get wet again. So when you go out and you know it's going to be rain, remember, put something on, a poncho, a rain suit, something to keep dry. Have fun! Hi, it's Little Clipper again. We're out for the weekend and we're going to do a hike. The temperature is sunshine and warm. So I have my close toe shoes on. I have shorts on and I have a short sleeve shirt and I have sunscreen on my nose and my arms and I have a hat that gives me shade so I'm going to be having a wonderful time hiking along but the evening is coming and when the Sun goes down it may get a little cool so the clipper brought sort of a long sleeve shirt and she can put this on. It is called a layer. A layer will keep me warm as the sun goes down. Long sleeve shirt is really nice because you can also pull it down if it still gets cooler. Anyways, this is a layer. So how do we dress for colder weather? We're going to show you. We have the basic outfit on, jeans, clothes, shoes, and a t-shirt. Now it's getting cold, so our first we're going to put on a layer is going to be a long sleeve shirt. All right, this feels really good. But you know what? This doesn't quite do it. I think I see some snow clouds, so I need a coat. So I have a coat here, and oh yeah, I can put this coat on and put it on. Oh yeah, this feels this feels really really warm it's another layer but you know I have another coat I have another this has some nylon on it which keeps the warm in and keeps the cold out all right so I have my long pants on and my layers on oh my head all the I need Thank something you. for my head there's various options here you can put earmuffs on Ah, that's good, but then my head's wrong. You can put a headband on. That keeps your ears warm. <gasps> Better yet, if it's really cold, you could put a sock hat on. <gasps> uh oh my hands are cold. I need something for my hands. What could I put on my hands? <gasps> gloves, all right. Put these gloves on. My head is warm, my body is warm, my feet are warm, 
I got my shoes on and my long pants and I'm ready for winter outdoors. All right. Now I want to talk about different fabrics for the clothes that we're wearing when we're hiking and general camping. So obviously a cotton t-shirt is generally what we like to wear. It's comfortable, but in hiking, the one thing about cotton is it retains moisture. So if you're going on a long hike and you're planning on putting on another layer at any time, this tends to be a bad choice for your first layer because it's going to be close to your body. And if you're hiking and doing a lot of strenuous activity, you're going to tend to sweat. And this is going to absorb that water and retain it. And so um, a lot of people, you know, we wear cotton t-shirts as well as cotton socks. And the socks is a, a bad choice for a, a long hike because your feet are going to be sweating. That sweat's going to get in your sock. And as you keep walking, you tend to get blisters. And so a better choice for a sock, and you'll see when you look in a camping store, there's a lot of these really thick um, socks and a lot of them are wool or smart wool. And the reason for that is wool will wick the moisture out um, and away from your foot and your toes. And so that will keep your feet from pruning up and getting some blisters as you're hiking. So wool is a really good option, especially in socks, to prevent blisters on the trail. Another fabric that's really good is synthetics or even silk. And so if you have some tricky weather that you're going to be hiking in, you might want to go with a synthetic close to your body as your first layer. And so they have some that are tank tops or even long sleeves. And this will put pull of the moisture away from your body and not let you um, stay wet. So this is a good fabric to consider. This is just another synthetic. Now one thing you do have to be aware of, and we've mentioned this in the fire building, is synthetics can melt um, if you get close to a fire. So if you get a spark on it, it can melt. And so you do have to be aware of that if um, you get to your campsite and you're a fire builder. You might want to change that outside layer. Another thing is just talking about Gore-Tex or your rain gear. So it's good to keep you dry, but in the same sense, that's also going to keep the moisture on the inside too. And so that's not a breathable fabric. So while it will be a good windbreaker, it is going to keep the moisture close to you. And so that's something to be aware of. So generally, your first layer, you're going to want a synthetic material close to your body. You're going to want wool socks, and then you can put a cotton layer or fleece is a good material as well for you to consider because that will keep you warm and insulated. So just a little rundown on different materials that you should consider when you're hiking.